Sectionalism Loyalty to a region Secede To leave or withdraw Abstain To not take part in some activity such as voting Popular sovereignty Political theory that government is subject to the will of the people before the Civil War, the idea that people living in a territory had the right to decide by voting if slavery would be allowed there. Martyr A person who sacrifices his or her life for principle or cause. Secession Withdrawal from the Union States' Rights Right and powers independent of the federal government that are reserved for the states by the Constitution, the belief that states' rights supersede federal rights and law. Missouri Compromise Drafted to limit spread of slavery while allowing Missouri to practice slavery, admitted Missouri to The Union is slave state, Maine as free state, banned slavery in all other territory above 3630 Only seemed to solve disputes between slave and free factions Free Soil Party A political party who wanted free soil, free speech, free labor and free men. Compromise of 1850 Henry Clay's proposed agreement that allowed California to enter the Union as a free state in Divided the rest of the Mexican session into two territories where slavery would be decided by Popular sovereignty Fugitive Slave Act Required return of escaped slaves in north to owners in south part of Compromise of 1850 spurred Massive indignation in North Underground Railroad A system that helped enslaved African Americans follow a network of escape routes out of the South To freedom in the North Kansas-Nebraska Act Sponsored by Stephen A. Douglas, Democratic Senator from Illinois, allowed settlers in new territories to vote on status of slavery in Northwest, repealed 1820 Missouri Compromise and Prohibition of Slavery in Northwest, controversy surrounding act led to creation of anti-slavery Dred Scott Decision Supreme Court Case Regarding Legality of Slavery in Free States Dred Scott, a slave, sued for his freedom by arguing that his owner took him into the free state of Illinois and thus made him free. Chief Justice Roger B. Taney delivered majority opinion against Dred Scott, struck down part of Missouri Compromise that barred slavery in Northwest ruled blacks had no rights.
Confederate States of America. The Confederation formed in 1861 by the Southern States after their secession from the Union. Fort Sumter First shots fired in American Civil War, the 12th of April 1861, at Union-controlled Fort Sumter in South Carolina. Jefferson Davis, President of Confederacy, ordered strikes against Union forces attack. Spurred U.S. President Abraham Lincoln to call for war against Confederacy. Henry Clay Senator who persuaded Congress to accept the Missouri Compromise, which admitted Maine into the Union as a free state and Missouri as a slave state. Stephen A. Douglas Powerful Illinois senator throughout the 1850s sponsored 1854 Kansas-Nebraska Act, which led to creation of Republican Party, the best known for engaging Lincoln in series of debates in 1858 Illinois. Senate race, Douglas defeated Lincoln in 1858 Senate election, before Lincoln easily defeated. Douglas and 1860 presidential race John Brown Militant abolitionist attacked Federal Armory at Harper's Ferry in hopes of stirring slave Rebellion executed 1859 considered martyr and North lunatic in South his death radicalized both James Buchanan The 15th President of the United States, he tried to maintain a balance between pro-slavery and anti-slavery factions, but his moderate views angered radicals in both North and South and he was unable to forestall the secession of South Carolina on December 20, 1860. Dred Scott Virginia slave who migrated with his owner to Missouri in 1820s, sold to military man posted in Illinois, a free state, tried but failed to buy his family's freedom, so sued for freedom instead. U.S. Supreme Court rejected his appeals, but he eventually was freed by his owners. Abraham Lincoln Anti-slavery Republican, elected U.S. President, 1860, lost to Democrat Stephen Douglas in 1858. Illinois Senate race, but that campaign earned him Republican nomination for President, 1860. Moderate stance on emancipation, not abolitionist, but against slavery's expansion, his election. Triggered secession crisis which led to civil war, Jefferson Davis. First and only president of Confederacy, Mississippi senator at time of secession crisis, originally. Argued against secession but went along with his state's vote for it. Harper Ferry White abolitionist radical John Brown assaulted federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry, VA, attempted to start slave rebellion but failed to draw support executed by hanging, seen as martyr in North End. Insane radical in South, high in sectional tensions. 
What events led to bleeding, Kansas? Border ruffians raided the anti-slavery town of Lawrence, Kansas. Fort Sumter Site surrendered after a Confederate attack a United States fort on an island guarding Charleston. Harbor Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe Spread anti-slavery sentiment in the North written by Harriet Beecher Stowe in 1853 that highly Influenced England's view on the American Deep South and slavery, a novel promoting abolition Intensified sectional conflict Dred Scott v. Sanford Slaves were the property of their owners Roger B. Taney Supreme Court Chief Justice when the Dred Scott case was decided Border Ruffians Missourians who traveled in armed groups and crossed the border to vote in the elections Missourians who traveled in armed groups to vote in Kansas's election during the mid-1850s Popular Sovereignty Allowing the people to decide Kansas-Nebraska Act Called for residents of Kansas and Nebraska to vote to decide the issue of slavery Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin, a book about a slave who is treated badly. In 1852, the book persuaded more people, particularly Northerners, to become anti-slavery. Henry David Thoreau American transcendentalist who was against a government that supported slavery, he wrote down his Beliefs in Walden, he started the movement of civil disobedience when he refused to pay the toll tax. To support him Mexican War, 